Good morning. What is the most insulting act that God's people can engage in toward him? Don't want to really find out, but it's in here in Jeremiah chapter 3, verses 6 to 10. The Lord said also to me in the days of Josiah the king, Have you seen what backsliding Israel has done? She has gone up on every high mountain and under every green tree, and there played the harlot. And I said, after she had done all these things, return to me. But she did not return. And her treacherous sister Judah saw it. Then I saw that for all the causes for which backsliding Israel had committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a certificate of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah did not fear, but went and played the harlot also. So it came to pass through her casual harlotry that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and trees. And yet for all this, her treacherous sister Judah has not turned to me with her whole heart, but in pretense, says the Lord. So we want to remember that not too far into her history, you know, we're talking 900 B.C., that the kingdom split into two separate kingdoms. So we have the ten tribes to the north, that's called the kingdom of Israel, and we have Judah and Benjamin, the southern tribes, they become the kingdom of Judah. Jerusalem's in the south with the kingdom of Judah, so it's ten tribes to twelve tribes. So what had happened was Solomon's successor, Rehoboam, the nation split at that time north-south. Now this goes on into the 700s, and then the northern kingdom, the kingdom of Israel, goes away. It was it degenerated very quickly after the split, and uh, it's, it's utterly wiped away by the 700s. The southern kingdom persists into the 500s. So Jeremiah represents the, the whole of the United Kingdom as the sisters Israel and Judah. And then we have Judah repeating the adulteries of Israel. Jeremiah calls it here casual harlotry. And then this is the ultimate insult. I mean, you have the infinite God, the infinite uh, high moral God, and what does Israel do? They turn from him, and now they are committing adultery, and not even adultery with, it's adultery with stones and trees you know, basically with the inanimate, adultery with an inanimate rock. So this, this is, they're worshiping idols. It's, it's mass idolatry. And that's just about as low as you can go. Unfaithfulness and idolatry. Now only God's continued mercy and care and, and nurturing, only that has even kept, kept Judah even in the game, so to speak. Otherwise she would have been wiped out a long time ago, just like Israel was. So this is a high affront. You know, with that terrible example of Israel in front of her, she stupidly goes on and, and, and does as bad and, and even worse because she knew better. And so she stupidly goes on to this lower spiritual level. He, he's the God of the living, not the God of the dead. He, he wants to give blessings, but the nation is busy, you know, doing its nation stuff. And there won't be too many blessings till they turn around. Psalm 115, verse 8, reminds us that those who worship idols, they become like them. So here these people are leaving their high heritage as God's chosen people, and now they're going to worship and commit adultery with, with rocks. So there you have the uh, kind of the ultimate departure downward. God's people are called to a much higher and, and much more beautiful heritage. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for long patience, long patience. You had long patience with Israel and with Judah, and surely you've had very long patience with, with me and with, with the hearers here, Lord. Bless us and help us. Bring us along, Lord. Bring us back. Help us to be in the right place. Uh, help us to learn from this instead of repeating it and learning it, you know, the hardest way. Please have mercy upon us, Lord, and, and help us repent. Help us to come back to you. Bless your church in these days, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, we don't want to be like this, that's for sure. Instead of insulting our Maker, let us bow down before Him. God be with you today in all that you do.